Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, the protest is still going on in this country simply because majority of Kenyans are not happy the manner in which members of parliament are moving the bill 2024 on, on, on the finance. Actually, uh, majority wanted this bill to be rejected in completely earnest, then start afresh. But that did not happen. We know the items they dropped on the way. But the areas where we believe some hidden items have been left because this regime is focused on uh, really, really collecting more money. About 200 billion dropped. But still, the bill is well and live in the parliament. It is waiting for the second reading. So the people of Nyeri were protesting and they decided to go to the office of their governor, Mutai Kahiga. When they reached there, they demanded for one thing, the governor to declare his interest on the finance bill and reject it in totality. That is what they were looking for uh, with governor Mutai Kahiga. So the governor got out of his office and he addressed the protesters. And this was the situation in Nyeri at governor's office. Now, Nyeri is home county to William Ruto's deputy, Gada Gashagwa. Governor Mutai Kahiga is a Gashagwa's man. There are issues Gashagwa would want to speak about, but because of his position, he cannot speak. So the person who normally relay the message to the public from Gashagwa is a Nyeri governor. So when he speaks, just know that Gashagwa is speaking. And that could be one of the reasons maybe why these people went there. And we want to go to continue with this discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, during this protest, a lot was expected from Rigade Gashagwa. So much was expected from Taika Higa and anyone who sympathized with them or who supported them. Why? Simply because we have seen the difference that are emerging between Ruto and Gashagwa. And it's all about, you know, Gashagwa being kicked out of government or power. He no longer enjoys the power he has been enjoying. The privileges that he has been enjoying are no longer there. There is a fight going on. With all this, we saw the Nyeri governor declaring his interest on finance bill. It was all about reject. In fact, he said, in front of Kipchumba Morkomen in the church, finance bill chili. Hayo magari mataka kweka tax nyenye mulinulia how what? That was the question he asked. Because there was motor vehicle tax. He was against it and he rejected the finance bill. That was in the church. So he declared his interest, it was very clear. From there, the governor was joining, uh, was gaining actual popularity. People found reason to associate themselves with the governor. Because he had come out clear in a position that the majority of Kenyans believed it was the right one. I want to believe this is one of the reasons why the residents of Nyeri, when they were protesting, they led the uh, protest to the governor's office, not to go and protest against the governor, but to ask the governor to stand with them. Of course, the governor is clear. He is not in support of the finance bill. One person who has let down the people, it was Gashagwa. 
This was the moment for Kashagwa to shine and uh, you know, going forward to take a position which is a popular position. It was one of the best time Gashaga was to come out and declare his interest on finance bill. Unfortunately, Gashaga is silent. He has not declared his interest. We know he is, he is not supporting the finance bill, but he's not declaring it. He's silent about that. And this is one of the reasons I want to believe it took this youth to the governor's office. <laughs> How I wish the Shabba would have declared his interest and go against the wish of State House. That alone, it was going to help the Shabba. He is looking for a situation whereby he can now start controlling Mount Kenya as the leader. Because Gashagwa, despite the fact that he is not he is the deputy president, he is not yet in a position to you know take over Mount Kenya region as the leader. Because yes, our politics is local in Anzia Nyumban. In Anzia Nyumban. Therefore, yeah, yeah, he just became a deputy president one time, boom. But he did not have the grip of Mount Kenya region. So holding to the grip, it means now you go back. But one of the best way to do this, it was during this moment when Mount Kenya is rejecting the finance bill. So definitely, area where William Ruto has been enjoying majority of the votes, you can hear the kind of names that are referring to William Ruto. I don't want to repeat, but you heard in the video. This is a man they voted for. But imagine if there is another ballot, you give them. When Pastor Tim Wang talked about this generation, that if they decide to vote, they, are, they will have a lot of consideration in that on that ballot. And this can be tell in the manner in which we have seen them protesting. They have sustained the protest. A lot of maturity in this protest. Clear message to the government. No backing. Back. No going back. So that, that's where they have reached. So in Nyeri, where we expected a that this is where Gashagwa is coming from. Kwa wale wanataka kujua watu wako wapi. Watu wako na mwishimia William Samai Ruto. So it is upon Gashagwa to make a decision. Beside distancing himself from this government, though silently, the people from his home are not comfortable with this government. So it was a good moment for him to speak the language of the people and stand with the people. He has missed it. Why? He is a beneficiary of this finance bill and he fears that he might not be facilitated if he opposed the finance bill. Ukipingana nayo, huwenda, bas wewe hauta pata ile budget yanatarajia kwa ofisi yake. Because there is a budget for his office. You go against it, William Ruto will not give you the budget. So Gashagwa, decided to remain silent to continue enjoying the privileges and power in his office. So he made a decision. In as much as coming to make noise, anytime he come back, the people should go back and then, in fact, they should walk back to the official residence of the deputy president in Karen, the same way they were walking to Sugoi, the resident of William Root. Therefore, they should not put any hope in someone like Rigazi Gashakwa. Kama atawakaribisha basi asema musimamu wangu ni huu, tujua nasimama na William Ruto, the oppressor, ama nasimama na wanaichi, the oppressed. We'll have to make a decision. Definitely I know he's back in this country, and uh, 
the protest is still on. He has to come out and declare his interest. So that was the situation in Yeri. I know there was much protest in uh, all those counties. Ukiada kilenda kwenye kwa anwa iguru, ukirudi kiambu hapa. It was all over. And this is a government that I voted for. Look at what happened in Eldoret. What was happening in all those counties in Rift Valley. It is all about rejection. So, what will say my kwamba? Wana ambao wataondoa mwishimu wa ruto na kashaba kwa uongozi, watakuwa wala ambao waliweka. Indeed, it is coming clear. This time round, a revolution is being led by youth.